everyone. Happy Fat Tuesday. I got my beans on and may go out to have a few drinks later. But first, before I did that, I wanted to come on and talk to you about my favorite moisturizers that I like to use on like second, third day wash and go hair. Um, basically moisturizing your hair when it is dry, not wet. Um, I know that for a lot of us, it is very, very cold outside right now. So it is absolutely impeccable or like imperative that we are going to keep moisturizing our hair even if we're not re-wetting it throughout the week. Um, first things first, my hair is just a second day wash and go with Spiral Solutions. Uh, they're, they're lighter styler. I can't remember the name yet. I'll put it in details. Um, but it's cool. It's, you know, it's pretty soft. It's nice and fluffy. So anyway, all right, let's get right into this. Um, these two products, I know that some of you are going to moan and groan and say, L, I'm so tired of you talking about cocoa curls and oil and pudding, but these are two of my favorite products. It's not my fault that they're very versatile, so I use them for tons of different things, and if there are any products that I have full reviews on um, in this video, I'm going to leave the links to their reviews in the details, so be sure to um, check those out as well. So. Moisturizing styling cream, amazing. You know, I use it as a sealer, I use it as leave-in, I use it as a twisting cream, all that stuff. Um, it works wonderful on dry hair. And when I say like, when I fluff out my wash and go, basically I just mean putting, you know, like products on and like fluffing my hair out or whatever, making sure it doesn't look all flat. And you know, I hate flat hair. Um, so this is one of my favorites and it smells good it absorbs well into my hair i don't get weird gunkiness with it and it can soften up a crunchy wash and go it is wonderful second one oil and pudding i actually um use this not only on oh look my hair's in this mm, that's icky um i actually don't use this only on my hair but i also use it on my body a lot in winter um because it is um Water is the first ingredient, so it's moisturizing as well as like a sealant. So I like to use it um, on spots where you you tend to have drier skin, especially like literally, it's eight degrees outside. Like I don't want chap lips, so I'll put it around my lips instead of chapstick because most of the time chapstick doesn't have real moisturizers. So anyway, um, this one is great. Same thing as the um, Cocoa Curls. I just put it on, it smells like chocolate. It has a thick, consistency and it goes on wonderful and I just use it all the time and I will say one thing that is different I moisturize my hair one of two ways um, sometimes I just use it to fluff and I just lightly apply product like probably throughout the top of my hair um, and the back of my hair and the sides right but then sometimes if I want a th more thorough um, moisture session going on I will moisturize my hair before I go to bed and then I split my hair into four sections and apply the moisturizer to each section so yeah those are the two different ways that I moisturize my hair and um, it's very important you know like I said if you don't want to wet your hair during you know a process if you have a twist or a braid out in I maybe wouldn't use those products but if you are looking for something that's still going to give you some moisture but it's still going to be more oil based um, why don't you check out um, Cave Essentials I, I think that's how I pronounce it oh no wait it's Cabo Essentials and this is actually a really nifty product because it's shea butter based but it has honey in it which is actually also moisturizing and I know that sometimes um, when I use um, more like products that only have oils they kind of end up drying my hair out in the end instead of um, softening it up so this actually if you've ever used uh, Carol's Daughter Hair Balm this has a very similar consistency to that it's a little bit thinner and it smells way better um, I, I can smell the peppermint oil and I actually enjoy the scent but this I also put on my hair put on my wash and go and I will use this if I'm doing like a twist out or something like that and this does not make my hair so wet that it makes it you know it gives me back my natural curl pattern without making it dry or whatever so this makes my hair very soft and I love it um, moving on a lighter one if you have finer hair this is a great one you saw that the first two products I showed you were very very thick they were in jars they're not popping out like whatever 
um, the S. Beauty Curl Friend Smoothie. Their leave in conditioner has a very milky consistency, so it works better for. Come on, come on. But it's still really thick. It still works better for that purpose. Um, if you see it on my hand right now, it's kind of like a, like a lighter curl milk. And this is a great leave-in. It is great for re-moisturizing hair. And you can also do, you know, choice and braid outs with it as well. The smell, it's kind of fruity. It's kind of light and like sweet, but I enjoy it. Their ingredients are... There's like guava extract. I don't know. Her ingredients are always bomb. Um, sunflower oil, panthenol, mango seed, butter, marshmallow root, slippery elm bark, blah, blah, blah. I'm not going to, I'm going to try to put all the ingredients in the details, so I'm not going to go over them in detail because I don't want this video to be like 50 minutes. Um, all right. Next product I have is an oldie but a goodie. Um, I use this at the very beginning of my hair journey and I thought it was a little bit too thick at the time. I talked to the owner, um, she told me they made it a little bit more creamy and they did. This is the Beige Floor Naturals Creme Brulee and Jesus, oh my god, first of all the smell, the consistency, it's still a thick cream but it's a bit creamier than it used to be. It smells like um, Cinnamon Toast Crunch so if you're an 80s baby like me you might like love that. and. I do, I totally put it on my skin because the ingredients are mainly, well, they are all natural, I'm pretty sure, yeah, she doesn't have anything unnatural in here. But anyway, this is also a good one that I used to seal with to fluff out my wash and go. It settles into my hair so nicely and it just smells wonderful, like it gives me a nice pick-me-up. I love the essential oils in it, like it has um, rosemary in it and I think that is amazing because my hair, like my, I don't know. I. Rosemary really grew on me. I can't really tell you why, but Rosemary is the one, two, what, third, third ingredient, something like that in this. So I definitely love this and I'm going to use that. And I'm glad, look how much I've left. Oh yeah, are you jealous? Yeah, you should be. Um, anyway, last one I'm going to do, um, I'm bringing this one back to the table. Um, Camille Rose Naturals, the Almond Jai Twisting Butter, or I keep saying butter, I don't know why. I don't know, butter, I could just say butter, right? I don't know, butter, butter, butter. Maybe I'll say butter, it sounds, it makes it just sound more, anyways, don't listen to me, bye, whatever. It's Fat Tuesday, leave me alone. Alright, so, this one smells like cake batter, it's a little bit thinner than the other ones. Um, Camille Rose, ever since I, like, the first time I use this, she's changed the ingredients since, th since then, but they're still amazing. I would say that um, she probably has some of the best ingredients like consistently throughout the line that I've ever seen. Um, it smells like cake batter, very, very nice lotion. You can see I'm just like putting this all over my body because number one, if they're natural, it's like not going to do anything to me and it's great. So I remember before saying that I thought Camille Rose products were so, so moisturizing and nothing has changed on that front. I put this on as soon as I got home um, from Target today, which is where I bought this, and it was just so, I don't know, it just made my hair so soft. Like, I think, like, Janelle, like, absolutely, like, hit it out the park with all these, and I'm going to continue to buy this. And you can get it on the ground. You can go to Target. Um, yeah, and I love that it has, like, Sesame seed oil, pumpkin seed oil, hemp, rice bran, macadamia nut, green tea extract, uh, aloe vera, just the yumminess of the ingredients are endless. So those are my, this, that was six products. That's a lot of moisture for the winter. So I hope that you have something um, to moisturize your hair with and make sure you are not drying your hair out. Please stay warm, stay safe, um, have a great day. I will talk to you all later. All right, bye.